Ahiru had been working with Shiro on building the new Meohiga extension. He had been sent there after Dezero had flamed him for making fun of the other engines. It's not fair. Dezero has been telling lies and they think I'm a horrible engine, said Ahiru. I know you're not. Say, why don't you help me with these trucks, Shiro replied. Ahiru felt happier working with Shiro. He helped to put the trucks straight for Shiro's next train. But the trucks were heavy, but the two engines worked hard to climb up and over Hiroda's hill. Goodbye, said Ahiro as he went over to another line to pick up his next train. Ahiro loved coasting down the hill, but suddenly, a guard's whistle blew, and straight towards him was Shiro's train. The coupling had snapped and it sped down the hill. Ahiro tried to make a run for it, but the trucks were gaining on him. Hurry, Ahiro, said his driver. They raced, but a bunch of fairies who were watching the trucks catching up to him. We'll go as fast as we can, then they'll only gradually catch up to us, yelled his driver. The trucks had finally caught up with him, and Ahiro's driver gained control. Another mile and we'll be in the clear, she said. Oh, God, look at that! There was a Kami pulling out of the station with a passenger train, and he was on the same line. Any minute, and there would be a crash. It's up to you now, Ahiro, cried Ahiro's driver. Ahiro put every ounce of his weight and steam against the trucks to slow them down. Too late! shouted Ahiro, and he closed his eyes. But a signal woman saw the runaway and set the point so the train could go on a siding. At the end of it, a barber had set up shop and was dealing with a customer. A hero shot down the track and crashed right into the barber's shop, wrecking the back wall. The force of the trucks knocked the guard out of the brake van, and she was very far away from the train. <sighs> Beg pardon, sir, gasped the hero. Excuse my intrusion. You frightened my customer and destroyed my wall, said the barber. The barber then applied a white foam on a hero's face. No wonder you don't get many customers, said a hero. Soon, the Scarlet Controller arrived and was seeing what had happened. That Baka put a giant hole in my wall. I understand this, but the engine, from what I heard, had prevented a serious accident, the Scarlet Controller said. But I don't care what would have happened. Your engine destroyed my business, and I'll have none of it, the barber complained. Suit yourself, said the Scarlet Controller. After the Scarlet Controller's head mate had threatened the barber with her knives if he didn't cooperate, Ichihiro had come to clean up the wreck. Ichihiro pulled a hero out of the barber shop and back onto the rails. Once you are washed and mended, you'll go back to the sheds, she said. But sir, they don't like me. That is not the case. I never believed his ears lies, and I sent him packing. The other engines were sorry and wanted a hero to come back. Ahiro took a berth, now that he's home with his friends.